Hi Global Vineyard family, it is fabulous to have a really quick talk to you. We, um, we're celebrating um, 20 years of vineyard in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And um, we're looking back on those um, 20 years with real gratitude. Um, it's been an incredible adventure for us, um, just watching what God's done with us and with our friends. It's been amazing. Um, and, and it's kind of interesting, right, what's happening right now for us is um, we're seeing a whole lot of Kiwis coming back home. I'm not sure what's happening out in the rest of the world, but this is obviously a place where people want to be. Um, so, so New Zealanders are coming back home and quite a few of them are coming back with this dream of we want to come back and plant churches in New Zealand. So right now, after a really quite quiet period of uh, not a lot of church planting happening. Um, right now we've got um, we've got six new plants happening. A lot of them are being led by by our um, next generation leaders who are who are make, who are hungry and um, going after lost souls and we are just so excited because it's making the rest of us who are already planting uh, really up our game. So we're loving this whole new life that's bursting out amongst us. Um, it's, and it's just been some really cool stories um, that have been happening um, in one of our South Island churches. Uh, the guys were just having a leadership meeting in a local cafe and, and then this young woman just randomly walks into the cafe in the middle of that leadership meeting. She'd been praying to angels and uh, walked into there and uh, and just as it happened they, they were also kind of uh, just talking about that kind of life as well. well in the end she just uh, sat in on that leadership meeting as a complete unbeliever, uh, gave her life to Jesus, wrote a whole lot of stuff that she wanted to walk away from on a napkin. They went outside, burnt it, got baptized six weeks later and, and uh, her dad's come to faith. She's in a leadership development track already. And she said, it's, it's like life started when I walked into that cafe that night. And, and then another a really interesting thing that's been happening amongst our churches is just this, the, the whole um, I guess the frequency and the, and the breadth of um, some of the healings is really starting to, to kick in. Um, one of our North Shore churches, um, they were just talking about, you know, doing a, a lot of things are just happening in their small groups where it's just a regular thing that, um, you know, with, with no kind of any palaver, it's just these beautiful healings are taking place. Guy got, got healed, a middle-aged man got healed of a long-term um, knee injury. Um, my wife and I were just down country not so long ago and, and just talking with some very dear friends of ours who are around about our age. And uh, the guy was kind of leaning in and kind of going, "We need to. We, sh we should talk outside the cafe." But it was raining, so it was you know it wasn't really an option to go outside. And in the end, he leaned over and said to my wife Vicky, "said I just can't hear you because you've, you've got such soft tones." And I'm going, I'm going deaf. In the last two weeks, I've almost completely lost my hearing. And uh, he had he had hearing aids, those kind of high tech hearing aids in his ears, and. And uh, he was losing his hearing nonetheless. And she, so we, in the end, we went outside the cafe. She just, she, she just moved with compassion because she was like, he, he's, gonna, he's a granddad and he's not going to be able to hear his grandchildren speak. And so she just and really simply just put her hands on his ears and said, ears work. And uh, we got a text the next morning. We were, we were in another part of the country by then. Um, and uh, he said that uh, his wife uh, texts and said that uh, he woke up that morning and just said, I can hear, I can hear myself. I can hear my own voice. And he's, and he's walking around the house going, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, I don't believe it. And then his wife said, maybe you should change what you're saying. And he's, he's like, oh yeah, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. So um, we've just had beautiful things. Uh, another one of our churches, one of our rural churches, our, our rural mega church, because um, it's an amazing church in a small community that's just exploding with life. Um, They've had, um, they've had uh, someone had a word of knowledge just recently in their, in their church with, uh, there's a lot of farmers in that church, and uh, just a word of knowledge about a back healing. The pastor himself um, has had a heart murmur that's been a lifelong heart murmur, just, just gone. They've had two glaucoma healings, um, both of which have gone to the doctors afterwards and, and been completely cleared and, and verified by doctors. So friends, we're just stoked. The, the, the number of the life that's bursting out in healing and people coming to know Jesus and uh, new churches getting planted. We're on the move. It's absolutely exciting. So God bless you, Global Vineyard. We are stoked to be part of this beautiful family.